Okay, welcome back everybody. We are in round four. We're 2-1. Uh, lost to Mystical Teachings and beat Hex Chant twice um, so far in this league. Uh, the highlight card of the day is uh, Frostborn Weird, uh, which is, you know, weird, but um, good. It's a two drop. It's a 1-4, and it pumps. Um, great sideboard card. I run three sideboard. Uh, it's good against uh, tribal aggro decks as well as some other stuff that uses... You know, it, it can help against certain decks, and it, it's old tech that people used to use, and then they moved away from it. I think it's still relevant, so I play it. Um, so we're looking at that card today. Um... It's not the most important card in the deck, but it's a nice touch. I think it's a good good three of. Uh, it helps me beat goblins and elves and stuff like that, so it's a, it's a good good card for that. It's also good against um, some decks like uh, Mono Black because you can pump and get through Grey Merchant, um, but sometimes I don't even bring it in against Mono Black. It just depends on you know, the meta at the time, and etc, etc. It's taken a long time to locate an opponent, so I'm going to take this time to tell you to please press that subscribe button um, on your YouTube that you're watching this on. Also, you can, if you're on Twitter, you can follow at Moximus Games or at Abstract Right. I'm Christopher, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to get into this match in a second here. So... Let's let MTGO find us an opponent. So we found an opponent and we got more good news, we're on the play. Unfortunately this is a mulligan hand, too many lands. Uh, this is a better hand but it's still awkward. Um, bone splitters and one spell stutter sprite. Mm. It's really good if I get an island. Luckily I get to scry so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it because I don't know what I'm playing against and if they're not playing a removal my spell stutter sprite will give me a ninja pretty quick, so I'm gonna keep it. And uh, I get to scry. Hopefully it's an island. If it's not, it goes right to the bottom. He mulliganed as well. Um, this is gonna go to the bottom, unfortunately, even though I love counterspell. We need to um, get a island so hopefully we'll draw one in the next turn or two and then we'll be able to play the game okay so we're playing against Affinity so he's got a 1-1 one, one, turn one which is pretty good uh, I've got two bone splitters not much else here so I need another island to make the hand a reality I'm glad that he doesn't have too much removal Unless he plays the red source and has, uh, you know, a galvanic blast or something. Um, so he's down to three cards, down to two cards. He's already got a 3 2 flyer. Pretty terrifying. Um, Delver is not a bad draw here. Um, it's the next best thing next to an island, so. And if it flips and uh, I equip a bone splitter to it, it's beaten for five, so, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, this could go either way. It was a risky hand to keep, but uh, I didn't want to go to five, and I felt like I could get an island by turn four, so we'll see what happens. Now he's got a red source. If he has the burn spell, I'm in trouble. So he's gonna hit me hard here. And 
do I get an island? I get an island, but Delver does not flip. That's the downside of the situation. Um, so, I think I wait until the end of his turn to play Spellsetter Sprite, or if he tries to Galvanic Blast my Delver, I bring it in then. He's probably wondering why I'm holding out on a counter spell. It's because it's a creature as well, and it's going to help me get Ninja to draw. Okay, so... I'm clearly in trouble here. Um, I think I take the damage at this point. Um, and then next turn I sort of either make or break the situation here. I'm going to bring in Spell Stutter. Hopefully he doesn't Galvanic Blast in response. He may. If he does, I'm pretty much shut out. Fling. So he's going to fling his 1-1 one, one at my 1-1. One, one. That's just not terrible, but it's not too good for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Island is good here. Um, pretty much digging for a response. So he's got more than lethal on board. That's the problem with this situation. Not too much I can do. Just didn't get the land drops in time, so... I think I scoop phase and we'll go to game two. I'll just keep it on this uh, this video. Um, okay, so Hydro Blast comes in because he's gonna bring in Burn. Dispel comes in. A Null comes in. Um, Echoing Truth and Mana Leak don't need to come in. Uh, Echoing Truth will drop. Stormbound Geist is not great here. It's not bad, but it's not as good as some of the other stuff. Bone Splitter uh, can drop because I just need to get some threats on the board and then go with those. Um, so I've got Hydro Blast and Dispels. So I can go ahead and drop Deprives. I think I, I will play one Bone Splitter just for utility. Um, it also gives me a good curve. So here we go. We'll play first. Um, this is a good hand. We'll keep it. I think we can now play the game. So, um, one my hand was greedy, but uh, I had to mulligan into it, so you know, sue me, I guess. I think at this point, I just um, so spring leaf drum that's, that's good. That'll, that'll resolve. Um, and then I'll go ahead and play brainstorm. Now, I want a null. I want spell stutter sprite. I want counter spell. I want spell stutter sprite. Uh, I want the island. So I'm gonna put the uh, golem and ninja back on top, and then I'm gonna draw ninja. And uh, now I pass turn because. If he plays another one drop, I can counter it with a spell stutter. If he plays something ter terrifying, I can use a counter spell. And if he plays an artifact, I can use a null. So it pretty much has me at tempo. I do need to get into another land to really make this hand destructive. And I think the way to do that is to get spell stutter sprite as early as possible. So unless he plays a super big threat, I'm going to bring in spell stutter sprite at end of turn rather than using my mana on a counter spell. So here is Car uh, Prophetic Prism. That's okay. I'll let him draw that card. Um, and then I'll go ahead and bring in Spell Stutter Sprite. That allows me to use Ninja um, next turn to dig for an island. Um, so we'll go to combat. It's kind of risky, but at this point, I need to do it. And he's tapped out, so yeah, there's my island. 
Uh, now I've got a Null and Hydro Blast to protect my uh, ninja, and so if he doesn't drop a creature, that I can hit him with ninja again and draw another card, etc. So hopefully he plays something that I can counter with a Null, like a, maybe another land and then an Enforcer or something. That would be ideal. Looks like he's going to draw some cards. Okay, that's a that's a good 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 answer there. Three two fire. <clears throat> so he's gonna have to trade that for ninja though. So, um, and I've got six cards in hand. He's got five, so I've got one card of advantage because ninja struck him, um, which is not bad. So I think I'm on track to do okay this game. He's probably thinking, does he have the annul? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see what he does. He doesn't want me to untap because then he knows for sure I have a counter spell, but uh, he might be choosing between a, a Forager and a Galvanic Blast or something like that. So. So, Hovergard is a pretty interesting card. Affinity for artifacts, and it's a 3 2 beater. It's basically the Delver of the deck. Um, yeah, he's going to draw some cards here. That's fine. So now we're at equal card advantage. Um, and Pyroblast, that's going to get Hydroblasted. <laughs> that's why I brought those in. That's why it's a $10 card, because it's a one drop that just stops stuff from happening. Bad things. It stops bad things from happening. So, I'm gonna begin combat and go to combat and hit him with ninja and draw a card, be a little greedy. We'll draw a null. Nice. So now we got two a null, a dispel, a counter spell, some spell stutter sprites pretty much everything in the book to uh, stop what he wants to do, which is nice. Good place to sit with a ninja on board. So I'll just sit there with that. So he's going to draw a card here and uh, play another chromatic star. And I, I noticed the little things. He, he, he added red to his mana pool before, probably to scare me a little bit. <laughs> like I've got another Pyroblast. It's a sign of a good player when they want to, you know, scare you a little bit. Enforcer. So this just gets annulled. <laughs> so his, his seven drop becomes a, a one drop and he cries a little bit. Galvanic Blast. I think, um, that goes ahead and gets uh, spell stutter sprited. And he's going to elect trickery um, so that the galvanic blast resolves. Good play, good play. Uh, it should still give me the trigger. I'm not sure why it doesn't. I guess it's just because wasn't in play long enough. I don't know, it was on the stack, so I, I still don't understand why Moto does that, but uh, it does. I think at this point I play uh, Golem out, and then I sit on my hands. So, Golem's a big threat. Um, he's got three in hand, I've got four counter spells, so that's a good ratio to be at um, <laughs> right now. He did a lot to get rid of that ninja. He did not want me having that ninja, man. That was, uh, so, um, I think he goes ahead and 
He can have that and draw a card, that's fine. It's just a cantrip. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I've said that before. Uh, again, I'm waiting for him to play something really threatening. Um, Atog is incredibly threatening. Now, he could have a counterspell. I don't think he does. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Just straight up classic counterspell the Atog. If he has the spell, oh, he doesn't. So, he's down to one card. And if he had Galvanic Blast, he would have used it because I'm tapped out. So, he's going, oh no. <laughs> um, Ponder. Good top deck. Now, I can't really race him with the Golem, but with the Spell Stutter Sprite and the um, Golem, I can race him. Cloud of Fairies is real good here. Um, so I think I, I do Island first, then Hydro Blast, then Cloud of Fairies, and I don't shuffle. And I think I go ahead and cast Cloud of Fairies. So hopefully it resolves here without having to use my Dispel. Untap two lands. Okay. Now I'll go to combat. And I'll hit him with Golem. Now the beauty of this situation is he doesn't know I have the Spell Stutter Sprite, so if he attacks with this to try to race me, I can bring in the Spell Stutter Sprite to double block and kill off his Hover Guard. So if he attacks here, Spell Stutter Sprite comes in. And he didn't. So, he's got one card in hand. Um, I think I play out Spell Starter Sprite to get more of a presence. And then I go in with Golem. <coughs> and he's, uh, he's pretty much run out of cantrips at this point, so... And I'm, I'm absolutely fine with the board state right now. Uh, you know, it looks like I'm winning this game if, uh, if the board state doesn't change. And I've got a couple ways to prevent it from changing, so... Looks like we're okay. We're in the clear. We're gonna make it to game three. So Atog, um... Yeah, it's gonna get countered. And he might counter that, and then I'll have to dispel it, but either way, it's fine. Because that's a... I mean, Atog is, is vicious. Yeah, man! So I'm just going in with Spire Golem, and uh, just hold on to my counter magic. Uh, as it sits with the board state, I'm winning this game. Um, Ponder is good here. Maybe get another threat. I think I throw these back <coughs> and I shuffle. Ninja's better. <laughs> okay, so we go to combat. 
And now I'm going to full swing so that whatever he doesn't block, I can bring in Ninja with and draw another card. Okay. So that's the game. Uh, we'll see you for game three. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to game three. We are playing against Affinity. And, uh,. Yeah, we do not play first, which could be devastating, but wow, we got two snaps. We're in pretty good shape here. <laughs> a good hand. So, he opens with a Great Furnace and a Chromatic Star, so... I think I just open with uh, Land and Null, unless I draw a... Unless I draw a... Uh, Delver, which I didn't draw, but and I think the game plan here is not to counter creatures. I think what I do is let him play out his creatures with a uh, and then use snap to sort of. disrupt his game plan. So he's gonna draw two cards. That's pretty good turn two for affinity. Um, yeah we'll uh, go to turn two for me and uh, luckily spell stutter sprite has flash so I don't need to bring it in at this moment for it to be effective for what I want it to do. Hopefully we draw into an island and then we have some more power to um, to counter with. So he's got eight cards in hand. Jeez, how'd he get there? Thought cast. Great card. Great card. He's stuck on two red artifact lands though. He's probably not too happy about that. So you know, in a three color affinity deck, this is an optimum. He might be deciding which uh, cantrip to play at this point. Um, and I think I do go ahead and counter a cantrip if he plays it, because at this point, he's trying to draw into another uh, land source, I think. Um, so, we'll see what he does. So he's just waiting, I don't know what he's waiting for, he might just uh, be waiting to drop a tog or something, I don't know, I mean I could speculate all day, but until he makes a play, I'm really just sort of sitting here. So he might have not drawn into anything with the thought cast, like no lands, and then he's going, uh oh, I didn't get what I needed. I've actually had players just time out, just to be pricks and make me sit here for 10 minutes. So he might be doing that. He might be rage quitting and walking away from his computer. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe he got disconnected. Um, okay, so he isn't land screwed. There's a prophetic prism. Um, I think I go ahead and encounter it because I don't want him to get a green source. So I'm gonna counter it. Probably should have used spell stutter sprite, but uh whoops. What can I say? Got distracted by his stalling. Now he's stalling again. Maybe he's he's got a bad connection. No, it looks like his connection's fine. He's just, uh, you know, not happy to be playing against Mono Blue, I guess. Yeah, that's right. I don't want you to draw a card. 
I know that messes up your game plan, but, uh, you know, deal with it. So hopefully we draw into a uh, land here. Oh, land. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I just pass turn and uh, hang on to my counter magic. And this is when I want to bring in Spell Stutter Sprite and then the uh, ninjas. Mer Enforcer. That's fine. Okay, so that is okay too. And this is why it's okay, because I'm going to snap, and I'm going to snap again, basically a time walk at this point, and then I'm going to play Spell Stutter Strike, and then it's my turn. <laughs> so I just pretty much bossed him down. I'll attack with Spell Stutter. It's not going to block, so I'm going to bring in Ninja, and then I get to draw a card, hopefully another snap. And Delver is good. Um, I'll play out Delver here and hold on to Hydroblast to protect the Ninja and the Delver. So he's playing Springleaf Drum, that's fine. Hover Guard resolves and then he's gonna play out enforcer so and he might even do use some removal we'll see so that's a tog um, a tog <laughs> The Tog gets countered every time I can do it, because that card is nuts, especially in Affinity. So hopefully Delver flips and we trade for the Hover Guard, and then the Enforce is all I gotta worry about here. Scattershot Archer, um, wow, that's pretty different for Affinity. Hopefully a counterspell. No, it's an island. Um, bring in that. Hmm. I'm in a tough situation now. I think I attack with Ninja. Because he's going to have to trade uh, for it. Oh, he's not. He's going to let me draw. And it's a Hydra Blast. Beautiful. Um, I think I go ahead and play out Ninja. And hold on to Hydra Blast. So the tricky thing about the situation he's in is if he swings on me, then I hit him with ninja and I draw more cards, so he doesn't really want to do that. <laughs> so, you know, it's a tight game. Two cards in both of our hands, three creatures out, I mean, it's pretty as even as it gets. <laughs> um, yeah. 
He's got a slight advantage with Scattershot Archer because Spell Stutter Sprite's no good here. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what he's going to do. We'll see. And he shows that he's got land, another great furnace. So I wonder what his one card is. It might be a Pyroblast, and I'd be very excited to play Hydroblast. Um, I'm still excited to play Hydroblast here. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> so he's out of cards. I've got a Spell Slutter Sprite and some card drawing. Um, so if he attacks me, I'm in good shape. I don't think he wants to trade for these, so I might swing with ninjas anyway. <laughs> Especially if Delver flips, then I'm definitely full swinging. But we'll see what my draw is. Sometimes players are, uh, they will stall to see if you misclick. It's, it's a weird sort of strategy that has evolved online. You gotta be careful about them uh, when they do this. So I got a counter spell and Delver flipped. Couldn't be happier. So I, I swing here. Even though I lose a ninja, I probably get to draw a card. Um, yeah. So, I think he's fearing the snap because of what happened earlier in the game. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna block all of them. So it's ninja versus enforcer. He deals more damage, I draw more cards, so we'll see what he top decked. Hopefully it's something irrelevant. And he traded his archer, uh, his life just so that I didn't draw a card. Which is uh okay for me actually. I'm fine with that. It makes spell starter sprite relevant here. So he's he's on a lower clock than me. I mean, you can tell he's uh, really thinking. Like, what do I do? Do I attack? Do I not attack? I don't know. So I think I bring in Spell Stutter Sprite. He played out a second Ancient Den, I think that was his draw, because I didn't see what he played. It might have glitched a little bit, but um, I'm going to bring in Spell Stutter Sprite just in case I draw a Ninja or in case I can just hit him with Evasion for one each turn until I draw into another threat. A snap would be good if I drew into that, because then I could snap my ninja, hit him again, draw another card. Or, I mean, snap his enforcer. Um, we'll go to combat. Wow. 
Why is he stalling? I, I, I don't like it. Not to sound like a complainer or anything, but it's just annoying. He's got six minutes left, like, he should either, you know, scoop phase or... I mean, I think he's doing it tactically to try and make me misclick, but by now he should know I'm not gonna misclick. You got no cards in hand, dude. Just take the damage. Like, uh, ugh. Fire Golem, a Ninja, something like that. Something significant. So as you see, we drew a null, um, which is which is good here. Um, you know, it's pretty great here actually. Ponder is an awesome top deck here, especially with the amount of land I've got here, and I got I got the ninja I was hoping for. So we're gonna go island counterspell ninja and not shuffle, and then we'll go in with a uh, spell setter sprite and draw another counterspell. That should pretty much lock him out. So we're gonna do go here. That. And we'll draw another counter spell. Now we've got him on lock. So he's at one card. I've got four counter spells, so he knows it. So anyway, that's the match. Thank you for joining me today. I have three one in the tournament hopefully I go 4-1 we will see you later on follow at Maximus Games on Twitter and please click that subscribe button